Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's your boys. Boys, because there are multiple of us. Captain Cowboy. Yeah. Swag. Yeah. Who commented on my name as well as if it was him. Yo, it's Pitbull. The International Man and uh, Darth Rage. So we have uh, Pitbull here to talk to all of you today about why Guns of Glory is a failed MMO game. Why... What makes an MMO game good and how we think that Iron Throne fits in on our description of what we have seen in previous games that we've played. We've played a whole bunch of games throughout the three, uh, four of us, including Pitbull, um, who is actually unable to make it with us here tonight. Um, sorry for the whole letdown. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get into MMO games. So first off, MMO games, yeah, you have a castle, you're building up. I mean, it's just... Think Clash of Clans. It's MMO. You know, you just build up, you have fun, you have troops. It's a war game. They're all war games. And they all involve microtransactions. And it involves a social platform. Having kingdoms where you see the same people every day. And you're able to build relationships with them. And play with them and make the game the way you want to play it. Because there's rules, but there's really open rules. It's open to your interpretation. It's open to the way that you want to play it. So what makes this good? What makes this bad? And then, you know, all everything else in between. So let's go ahead and talk about what we have liked in some MMO games. So we'll go around the table. We'll pass the torch. We'll start with Pitbull first um, because he has to leave soon for a, for a concert. I saw a commercial. He's doing a free concert in Orlando soon, so uh, he's he's got to run to that. But let's go ahead and talk about what we like about MMO games. So something that we like about MMO games is strategy. There has to be strategy over anything. So what I mean by this is, if there's an MMO game, there has to be a strategy to win. There has to be some kind of formula. What am I doing with my gear? What am I doing with my gemstones? What am I doing? You know, everything, whatever goes in to your gear and whatever goes into your stats, there has to be a strategy behind it. So people are, you know, the game is able to accomplish this by putting in stats and creating a battle mechanism so that there is a formula to why you're winning, why you're losing. So like with Guns of Glory, we have equipment, we have gemstones, we have airship, we have everything else that goes into it and there's a bunch there has to be multiple platforms where you can play in order to you know keep your gameplay varied enough so that you don't get bored because in inevitably people are going to be spending a lot of time playing your game i mean just look at the look at the leaderboards and i'm going to go look at the castle level leaderboard so my picture still shows up but it's not my picture anymore but it is me at heart maybe it doesn't show up that well but here I am. Ooh, I made it up to level 36. That's awesome. I didn't even realize it. But, yeah. So, what does this mean for all of us? Well, if you guys want to chime in, chime in whenever you want. But I felt like Guns of Glory never had the strategy. It never really made sense. The I would go into battle reports and I would just look at my battle reports and I'd beat this person on stats. I knew what march formations worked, which march formations had some leverage. But there's no nothing ex explicit about this game. There's nothing that tells you this is the right way to play. There's nothing that tells you this is what you need to do. There are no guides. That's why I started this YouTube channel. I started it because there's nothing to help you, guide you. And I felt like I knew what I was doing. So I started doing it. And then I realized after a couple months, everything I knew, everything I had been preaching about battle mechanics, about stats, everything, none of it mattered. None of it worked anymore. None of it. They lost their strategy. Nothing made sense. I reformulated everything. I talked to numerous people, people with spreadsheets beyond compare. Nothing made sense. But when you look at your battle reports, it makes sense. But it doesn't. That whole defeat thing, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I could look at my troop attack. I could look at all my different attacks. 
and I'm winning. Obviously not in this one. This isn't my account. I'm just playing Darth Rage's account that sucks. It's not even his main account. It's like his third, fifth, seventh account. I don't know. He has too many of them. But if even if I'm winning on all fronts, even if I have so many more troops and I have all the better stats, I have the better heroes, my stats won't add up. The stats, like, I, I'll do a 20% stat increase or I'll, I'll give myself a buff. Like, the best thing that, about this game is whenever you would go and you would hit a state buffs and you would do an attack buff, like this 12-hour 20% buff, it doesn't actually add 20%. What is it actually doing? I don't know. I never knew. No matter how many times I would hit that button, it would never actually add 20%. None of the stats made sense. None of the way that it adds up makes sense. So I felt that this game's failed. But when I look at Iron Throne, on the other hand, now I can't even pull up Iron Throne because they're in the middle of maintenance right now, which looks really bad on me. But Iron Throne has everything going for it. When it tells you everything about leverage. It tells you which troop types are going to win the battle. It tells you Siege has leverage over everyone, but you can't really get stats for Siege that easily. There's no gear set for Siege. There's gear set for troops, which impact your Siege, and that's what you're going to want to utilize on defense. But now we're learning, hey, well, now there's this new way that we should be going about things. Now we should be only utilizing one troop type. And that works. And it's straightforward. And that's what makes an MMO game great, in my opinion. But there's so many other facets of it. You have to have other game modes that you enjoy. Like Ultimate Alliance Campaign and Guns of Glory. I don't enjoy it. There's a whole, It's a huge gold pit. And you're not getting anything out of this game mode. The rewards suck. It's so repetitive. A lot of times, you'll find alliances don't even want to participate. Just because they'd rather focus on kill event. Because kill event's fun. It's dynamic. It's not the same like every single time like you get out of Ultimate Alliance campaign. And that's what the randomness of allowing the kingdom to play the rules that they want to make makes the game great. That's what I got out of Iron Throne. Blood Moon just comp competed in it. Basically, you can do whatever you want. You can hunt. You can farm. You can gather resources. You can hold sanctuaries. You can hold the capital. Everything has its own different point matrix. It's how you want to make the game. There's no nothing that tells you what to do. It tells you this is the best way of doing it. And it tells you that combat is definitely the best way. And it, it just allows you to go out and do whatever you want. Have fun with your alliance. Rally someone. Rally everyone. And that's what I did. We won. The rewards were amazing. I spent 500,000 gold. 500,000 gold. You want to know how much money that equates to? Swag, I'm really bad at math. Please fill in. Uh, I'm having a conversation in your chat. Uh, what am I? Never mind. Swag, you're absolutely freaking useless. I have... I'll help in your chat, bro. All right. That's $750. 500,000 gold. I spent $750 worth of gold in Blood Moon. You want to know what I got out of Blood Moon? I got $6,000 worth of equipment. $6,000. Six thousand rewards that justify the expense. I spent fifty million revive points. Fifty million is worth it, worth every penny. Because you're getting so much rewards, and it's not even the rewards. It's just that I'm having fun while I'm doing it. You know what? Screw it. We're opening up King of Avalon. Let's see where it takes us. These games are exact copies. And then there's things that I don't enjoy. Like Clash of Clans. Even that game. There's things that are wrong with it. You don't want to know what's wrong with it? Free to play. Can compete with pay to win. People who play free to play. And they grind everything out. Can compete with people with max accounts. Because there's not enough separation between them. The only reason you'll want to spend money. In Clash of Clans is to close your gap and speed up everything that you're doing. It just allows you to speed up. So, yeah. Just Iron Throne, in my opinion, succeeds in this front. 
And you want to know what else they're doing? They're coming out with this brand new update, and we'll get into it in another video after this. This is the part one video, talking about MMO games. But if you've been playing Guns Glory and you're tired of spending, every single month they come out with a new update, forcing the pay-to-win players to spend and forcing the free-to-play to grind out more because they can close the gap. But then they just come out with a new way to widen the gap. Every single month. Iron Throne doesn't do that. What they do is the pay-to-win can com continually spend to increase everything that they have and just get further on those tiebreakers. All it is is tiebreakers. But it requires strategy. Because a pay-to-win, let's say I go up against Swag. Swag's a 2 billion power player. I'm 22 billion power because I spent a lot of money and he hasn't. You know, rank... Rank 3 in the kingdom is 10 billion. He's half of my power. This is not my account, by the way. If you're in King of Avalon, Kingdom 224, this is not my account. Stop being so freaking crazy. You guys are literally the most wild people I've ever met in my life. Wild. And they're just honestly just dumb. Um, But besides that, yeah. Um... You know, it's it's more about why it's about you know utilizing the strategy to win. Swag could beat me one on one if he sent a leverage troop against me. If you send leverage troops troop against someone else, you're gonna win because you have so much higher benefit out of it. Now, Aw, I love you too. Anyway. That's what Iron Throne does well. Iron Throne does so many different things well. That none of these other games are doing well. Now, they're coming out with this brand new... Coming out with this brand new update. This brand new update... Is going to create a brand new experience for a new kingdom. So Kingdom 53. I'm going to restart in this kingdom. I'm not getting rid of my old account. I'm going to restart. I'm going to play with everyone. So if you want to get into Kingdom 53. If you've been in an old kingdom. If you've been in an, if you're not, never played it. If you want to come over from Guns of Glory. I'm going to start a brand new play test. We'll get everyone in here. Hit me up in any of the ways below. And we'll start forming like a line group. Discord room. Anything. We'll go in there, guns a blazing, up into the brand new kingdom, Kingdom 53, and we'll have a great time in the playtest. So hit me up if you want to do that, but on to part two, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button in the middle of your screen.